Howdy. Well, uh, with the latest video compiling, and there's not much I can do uh, on my computer while it's compiling, I thought, let's do check the mail. Uh, it's been far too long since I checked the mail, so I really want to start with this one here. It's got beautiful uh, sort of um, cover, lovely uh, doodles along here, and this beautiful thing on the back. I actually posted this on my Instagram because it's just like, it, it's Dark Strider actually holding up me, and like I love that sort of conflict it's got going there. Really recognize, really beautiful actually. It's uh, I really just uh, do like that picture. I'm going to be very careful opening it because, yeah, uh, it's really gorgeous. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, it's Boo. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, that's gorgeous, eh? It's uh, me, and that's, uh, that's, um, well, she hasn't put a name yet, but, so that's me, and that's the writer, who will find out who that is soon. Hello, Josh, I am called Peel, so that's Peel. I'm called Peel, and I'm a supporter of your work. I'm on the autistic spectrum as well. I have a YouTube channel called Peer Dark. And when I'm a bit more advanced, I might do animations. Also, I'm sorry about the poisonous spiders in Australia. Please stay safe, Josh. From a OK girl called Pear. <laughs> Thank you, Pear. That's a uh, that's a lovely letter. That's so so much personality in there. And thank you so much for writing in. That's just gorgeous. Oh, and again, just absolutely gorgeous pictures. Fantastic. And next we've got a letter from Emily. Dear Phantom Strider, my name is Emily. I really love your videos. They always make me feel happy. Oh, thank you. Um, and good inside. You are always cheer... You always cheer me up with your top list. I was wondering if you could make a top 10 list of the best episodes from the How to Train Your Dragon TV series. Would you see that? Would would love to see that. Oh, I remember, uh, I watched uh, Dragons Through actually on Netflix recently, Emily. It is a good series, isn't it? I, I really enjoyed watching Through. I, I think I started, I did start with Riders of Burke. Um, it really gets good at Race to the Edge, I found. Uh, um, it was the advancement and shows more of the complexity of the characters we get hints of in the movie. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a big fan of that series as well. And what's your favorite episode though? Um, feel free to leave it in the comments, Emily. I'd love to know uh, your favorite episode as well. I think, what would mine be? I really love the one where he, uh, her, where uh, their brother joins their side again after he's been in jail. There was a they do a bit of double crossing back and forth, and that's quite fun. <laughs> like some of the uh, kidnappings, that sort of thing. It's like it's like a whole uh, merging of stories. It doesn't really fall into one episode for me. The Dragon Stip series. It was like I liked it as a whole, and I remember sort of the character moments rather than the episodes. It's it's an interesting one. Thanks, Emily. I appreciate that. So this letter is apparently from Lyric. She says, Dear, uh, it could be a he, I'm sorry, I don't know uh, what your gender um, is based on the name Lyric. I haven't used it before, but it's a lovely name. Uh, Dear Phantom Strider, I'm just wanting to tell you I am also autistic and have a request for you to do the darkest Nick Jr. shows. Like there is a TV show called Paw Patrol, and there is a dark part in the episode. The episode is called Sea Patrol, Pirate Puffs of Sea Patrol. But I've also seen every single video of so you on YouTube every time. Um, YouTube every time. I have trouble of doing something I start watching your videos. It's cool to know I'm not the only person on YouTube that are autistic. I have a YouTube channel with one. I'm trying to start putting more videos on it to make me have more subscribers. If you search up funny dogs selling pranks, I should be the first one on it. Sincerely, Lyric. Oh, that's lovely, Lyric. Now, I've got to say, um, I did actually try to make Darkest Nick Jr. shows a long while back. Probably six, eight months, I'm going to say eight months ago, I tried to make Darkest Nick Jr. shows because it's so silly, the idea of Nick Jr. being dark. And there were a couple of candidates, but we really pushed and really tried hard. But I couldn't stretch it enough to make some of the episodes dark. Like, Backyardigans was on there, the episode The Volcano, and I think that was kind of a ritual feel to it. There was a slight sort of threatening that the 
backyardigans might die or something. It was really stretching it though. <laughs> And eventually, um, Mercedes, my friend and I, um, who was helping me write it, because she was really experienced with uh, Nick Jr., more experienced than I was, we just couldn't do it. So um, we wanted to do it, but we just couldn't find enough Nick Jr. episodes. If you do have uh, uh, suggestions, six suggestions for Nick Jr., even five uh, suggestions for Nick Jr. episodes, um, Lyric, leave them on my Twitter and just tag me in it and let me know because I, I would love to do that list still. It's just so silly. <laughs> Darkest Nick Jr. episodes. Love it. Um, oh, it's from Tiffany. <laughs> Let's take a look at what Tiffany has to say. Okay, what does Tiffany have to say? Read first one. Um, this is, Dear Josh, I see that you gave praise to Stress Mc... Trez McNeil, I, Tom Kenny, and Rob Paulson, as well as the, in your top five worst and best Tom and Jerry movies video. You did leave out the Kath Salsi and JP Karliak voice Nibbles and Willy Wonka. Your punctuation is getting a bit better. Um, well done, Tiffany. In Tom and Jerry, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I'm going to go to the movie again. And while I also see that you put Tom and Jerry the movie as well as on the list, I praise Andy McAfee, Richard Kin, and Dana Hill for voicing Robin starting Comic Cat. Tom and Jerry Mouse, can you also do a top seven best character voice by Dana Hill and Richard Kind on your YouTube channel? My favorite voiceover roles from Dana Hill and Richard Kind is roles from Dana Hill and Richard Kind is Buddy Gummy, Dippo, Liebird, Plus Pong from Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears, I Drink the Little Dinos. I think I'm familiar with those, Tiffany. Um, the Wild Thornberries and Oswald, Good Luck at the Nexus Con, on and on with Rob and I give the animated movies, Dear Dracula. Uh, I'm going to buy the chicken taco at Carabon from El Polo. Like, this is the best part here. It's sad that Storms is really bad. I already got the Loud House novels. Family Tree is dark. Plus, I will buy the Loud House. The struggle is real at this con... Writing's getting worse as we go, Tiffany. This new comic book store, I bought my two other comics. Take care and may God bless from Tiffany. Hello Josh, time to see Fruits Basket as episode 22 because I was happy then glad there is still flashbacks about Honra's BFF, Arisa, Bonisaki, Hanajima family, I bet you're a fan of Johnny Quest, 44 Cats, Disney Goldie, I'm not a fan of Johnny Quest, but uh, I haven't watched much of it. Uh, I will look at Rick and Morty Pickle Rick at 11.30am specifically, who was your favourite teacher in 5th grade, my favourite music? My favourite teacher, Miss Hitchinson, Mr. Helmrich, Mr. Egan, uh, they both, all three of them changed my life. Uh, about lots of music instruments, my Friday was amazing, and awesome, that Christian McGill and Justin Brenner voices, and Kinra on the anime, Dr. Stone looking at the animated world of Gumball season 6 11, the founder. I got world famous fries plus Billado fresh sandwich from McDonald's on 28th, I have a look at Labor Day on 29th, 9th, 2019, take care from Tiffany! Well, thank you Tiffany, that's always a pleasure. <laughs> that was a good one, I'll, I'll, good question with the uh, teachers, I've always wanted to talk about that one, <laughs> my favourite teachers. All right, so this letter is from Tyler. Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. It is just great to evil. And there's a, it's a bloody dinosaur with uh, bloody teeth and he's holding a skull and he's, go he's got a gravestone of Alan Gregory and Archer. And well, I, I don't know if I want to uh, put them in a grave. I don't know if they should be put in a grave, man. That's, that's a bit much, but it's a very uh, colorful, creative drawing, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, well, you've really gotten creative with that. Um, Bendy owned by Cartoon Network, Indoraptor owned by Universal Pictures. <laughs> Beloved narrator. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Do I see who I think I do? It's Sonic! It's Sonic! <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, the fastest thing alive. <laughs> I love Sonic. What have we got here? Ooh, more drawings. The Secret of Nim. Oh, isn't this one beautiful? Ooh. Oh, yeah. There's Mrs. Brisby. Is it Brisby? Frisby? It's not, definitely not Frisby. Jump from my head. Sorry, I think it's Brisby. Uh, differences from the book. Mrs. Frisbee's... Oh, yeah, it is Frisbee. Oh, wait. It is Frisbee in the, uh, in the original book. Oh, okay. So it was changed to Brisbee in Don Blue's version. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Green orange can. Oh, that's really cool. And here is the letter. Dear Strider, I hope you are doing well and I love some of your videos. It's nice to hear what you have to say sometimes. You make everyone crack up with your humor 
and feel nice with your content. The picture that's all colored is a printed coloring page from Lolly Rock, a French anime influenced at Cartoon Network and it's one of my favorite cartoons of all time. I was hoping you could take a look at it and put it at number two of a future video, the top six underrated or forgotten cartoons of all time. There's so many, isn't it? You can make a top 50 underrated cartoons of all time, particularly forgotten. I've actually heard from actual creators of some underrated cartoons sometimes that made something really good, you know, um, so I definitely could make a list of that. Number one to be Gendi. Tata Kovisky's Clone Way micro series. In case you don't know, I'm really not a fan of the other Star Wars shows that came out later on. Yeah, I, I get that. I get. That. I think Clone Wars had a lot of good stuff, though. It was one of Cartoon Network's better shows. They may have some forget it, forgivable moments, but what they are just cartoons I hate, but people love. Either way, if you like them, that's fine. But for me, I prefer Tata Kovisky's Clone Wars only. Oh yeah, that's fair. It's my introduction to the franchise. I really hope you don't add clips from the other cartoons in the video. Thank you, Sign Tyler Fish. P.S. Favorite review, top 10 best SpongeBob episodes. Learn favorite reviews, cartoons, movies you hate but others like. Um, makes me wonder, are there any movies you like yet everyone hates? Here are mine. The Country Bears, The Hobbit, Aragon, um, Jurassic World, Ma Maleficent. Yeah, I made a, I think I made a list of, no, I made a list of every, movies I hate that everyone likes, but I didn't do like everyone hates, so yeah. Oh, that's a good list. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, who was it from? Oh, Tyler. Tyler Fish. Well, thank you, Tyler Fish. It's interesting. This is pictures of Robin, me, and Brendan at Luna Park. I want to send it to them. I meant to, uh, I forgot to give it to them when I was with them. But, um, yeah, I'm going to send them that. I've got my version too. I'll put that away later. So this is from Evan. So what does Evan have to say? Ooh, he's got pictures. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. What is that? Phantom Strider. Josh and me. See, sorry for no color. Didn't have time to finish. Well, it looks lovely. Evan gives us Josh and Evan. <laughs> that's lovely. And next up, we what does we have, uh, he says. Hi Josh, I am Evan. I know I am late since you haven't posted one of these in months, but I appreciate you reading this anytime. Anyways, ever since you made your top 10 best CN shows vid, I have fallen in love with your channel. Oh, thank you. You make good points and make, excuse me, your videos with passion. Well, I'll try my best, uh, thank you. Also, uh, three things. Have you seen the show Dexter's Lab and or Ben 10? Yep, I've seen Dexter's Lab, but I grew up with that one as well. That was one of the very first Cartoon Network shows I saw. I always tuned in for it, even though I don't like it as much nowadays. I don't tune in for it nowadays. It didn't age as well as, say, Teen Titans or something like that, but uh, yeah, and it still had that dark edge. I think I've talked about that before, but it just was bringing in that dark edge we later see in uh, a lot of the other Cartoon Network shows and early Nickelodeon cartoons, so um, yeah, it was good that one. Uh, ben 10 I didn't watch much of, I just love the fact that the Colonel um, uh, from Metal Gear Solid was the, uh, the father, uh, the grandfather I think it was, or the uncle, a really cool guy. Also, whatever happened to Robo Jones? Uh, I think it is spelt right, just wondering for you to inspire me to show different opinions since I always jumped in the bandwagon. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, Evans, you know? I'm, uh, if I can, you know, encourage you to make up your own opinion and to think things through, that's the best thing I could possibly do. Well, apart from giving you a happy time and at least giving you some content and calm, that's the best thing. But uh, th thinking a bit more critically about what you view is really cool. I I'd love that I could do that possibly, or at least help with that. Thanks, Evan. For you to inspire me to shoot different opinions, I always jump the bandwagon, and that you inspired me to watch Hey Arnold. Oh, cool which is now my favorite show of all time. Wow, well, I'm glad to hear it, Evan. Uh, you, well, did you like the movie? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Jungle Movie. Leave them in the comments. Um, you yourself are very unique your own way. Also, along with Jack Septicai, you have helped with semi-depression. Oh, that's great, man. Oh, it's cool. This has been a great journey. 
with you and thank you for everything you have done. Thank you very much, Evan, for the letter and uh, what you said. Uh, it's why I'm here and it's why I do these videos. It's the most important part and it's why I will spend, wait for this to take two hours to compile. Why does it take two hours to compile a 22 minute video? 23 minute. But anyway, um, yeah, absolutely. So thank you so much, Evan. Um, Deviant Ant Art Pearl, the Salt Shaker Fandom Robot Jones. You also do you like Cat Dog and Ro Rocket Power? I love these shows. I never got into Cat Dog or Rocket Power myself, Evan, but um, I definitely saw the appeal. It was very much uh, similar to um, vein to uh, say a traditional Nickelodeon show, but. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just it never picked up on me. I guess I always felt so bad for Cat Dog because the idea of just being molded, and I guess they made it fun, but ugh, I, I, I guess I'm a person who likes my privacy and my space. So I guess, uh, you know, um, I wouldn't be very good. It's a bit like Loud House to me, like just the idea of it's so horrifying that I can't laugh at it. Oh, wrong side. Um, to Josh Phantom Strider from Eddie. Hey, hello, th hello, this is Eddie, as you might have guessed, who formerly ran the channel Lads on Tour. I am flattered to appear in yet another male vid. I'm still watching, very much enjoying your videos, particularly the Blues Clues one with the horrible green puppy. I just wanted to ask you, do you remember Maps Mansion and Nuzzle and Scratch? They're my other favorite shows behind, besides Brum. Oh, all right, I remember you, uh, Eddie. All right, that's cool, I do remember you talking about Brum. I no longer like Cat Size, um, and have moved on to much funnier things like Nuzzle and Scratch. I think they were shown in Australia at some point, but might be a bit after your time. One of my, I think they might have been because I didn't remember Nuzzle and Scratch. I did, I do remember Brum. One of my mates plays Nuzzle. Oh, really? Hmm. I've got a picture below for reference. And while we're on the um, subject of children's shows, have you ever seen been in one? I believe I might have made a brief cameo uh, in CBBS when I was one. The thing for certain to do, you do a better job of presenting the new Wiggles, the new female lead singer we have today. I don't know, I, I saw the new female lead singer. I don't know if you're talking about the new, new one, but the older one I saw, um, the first, probably the first female lead, she was fine. Presented very nicely. Um, uh, anyway, good luck in Australia, the home country of my mother's side. I am half Australian, half British. I hope the weather's all right here and things are going well with me, even though I'm quite busy nowadays with studying. I have put a joke below as well as a picture. Wow, thank you, Eddie. And kind regards, Eddie. Eddie, P.S. Why did the Invisible Man turn down the job offer? Answer, he couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> Very good. And this is, uh, must be, uh, no, I've never appeared in a kid's show myself, Eddie. Um, I, I can't think of anyone I've, I've appeared in, but uh, obviously I wanted to appear in uh, Blue's Clues. I auditioned for that, but... Uh, I, and to be fair, the Josh they chose is probably much better for the role than me, you know. I'd probably fall apart, I'd probably have terrible anxiety, my OCD would probably go nuts and it would probably be terrible. Oh, what a beautiful card. Ooh, there is another card in it. What does this say? Perilous Journey. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Ooh. Oh, who was this from? It was um, from... Uh, Marianne. So, Marianne says, to Josh, I forgot to give you something else. A note, please don't use the return address on the envelope provides as I don't live there. It is a business, thanks, take care, please respect my region. You'll see it on the painting provided, thanks, take care, from Marianne. P.S. What are some of the things you do when you are not on YouTube? Do you have another job or volunteer at some places that most people don't know about? I sometimes uh, volunteer at the shelter, uh, the animal, I used to volunteer a lot at the animal shelter. I haven't done much in the last few months. I also, um, yeah, recently went down to Sydney. I also like to do my more walk. Let's see. This sounds really pitiful when I tell you guys. Obviously I do a lot of gym, a lot of running in the mountains. I also I have a couple of friends I like spend time with in South Bank. I also run a club called the Humanist Club of Friends, where I, based on secular humanism, where I uh, basically counsel people and talk to people and listen to people, and we all just come together um, and talk about their experiences in secular humanism. Because there is a lot of as places for religious people to meet other people, but part of I think what is 
people can feel very isolated when they are an atheist or secular humanist because there isn't that many sources where you can go and talk to people in a kind environment. And as a secular humanist myself, I wanted to bring people together that so they could feel uh, accepted. And so that's why, I, yeah, I run that as well. Um, there's probably other things I'm forgetting, but you know, it's uh, all I remember at the moment. P.S. I love dogs, Marianne. Says Marianne. Yeah, well, thank you very much. That's a uh, lovely card, Marianne. Thank you very much. And what do we have next? This is also from Marianne. Yeah, it's a guinea pig. Guinea pigs I like. Oh, it's got lots of pictures in it. Oh, it's got multiple pictures in it. Um, well, that's a nice picture, isn't it? That's lovely. I don't know what's that of. It looks like it has some might have some religious um, connotation. I don't know, because that does look familiar to me. I don't know. It looks Indian, I'm going to say, from India? No, 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 that's not, uh, that's, that's not Shintoism, that's not Buddhism, that's not, I don't know where that's from, but um, Shinto, what was the other one? Uh, with the caste system. Ah, I was just going over this. I talk about the Indian caste system all the time. Dear Josh, hi, I hope you are doing well. I sent you something else along with some flowers. Uh, in another envelope. I hope you get it, or will did already get it. I am sending you these postcards with paintings that were done by persons with disabilities. Really? Well, they did a fantastic job. The bridge, particularly, I love the scenery on that. Is that a painting? I thought that was an actual picture there. That's gorgeous. That's very creative there. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. One is uh, or two are of the Broadwalk Bridge in Saskatoon. Um, when you are living in Canada, have you ever been in Saskatoon? What is your? I was mainly down in Vancouver and on Vancouver Island. That's what most. Uh, some of my family's Vancouver Island. Some of them's around Victoria, um, around that area. What's your favorite episode of dealing with a person with a disability? Probably Off Color Gems. Off the top of my head, I think Off Color Gems does um, presenting disability well. I think it uh, does it really well. I got one. Hope to hear this on YouTube. Take care from Marianne. What's your um, favorite episode dealing with the disability, Marianne? Uh, I'd love to hear it. Uh, let me know in the comments um, or on Twitter. Or on Twitter. Actually, you know, comments is better because that way people reading this can read it. That'd be really cool. Thanks. Appreciate it, Marianne. All right, and this next letter is from Jason. So what does Jason have to say? Ooh, ha, Ben 10. No, wait, no, it's not Ben 10, it's Danny Phantom. What am I saying? It's Danny Phantom. Oh, and it's a character made by himself that say, looks like Danny Phantom's older sister or something. Um, and a uh, younger fellow I don't recognize, who also looks rather Danny Phantom. Bleach, I'm gonna say. Is that Ichigo from Bleach? My favorite character was Orihime in Bleach. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, we got another one. Do we? Yeah, we do. We got a skull. A One Piece skull. We got an anime fan here. <laughs> It, One Piece. It is one of the best series of anime. A pirate named Monkey D. Luffy, one of the longest as well, uh, who is searching for the legendary treasure called One Piece. Uh, Luffy is the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. He has his crewmates each time a problem comes. His crewmates are Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Chopper, Robin, Frankie, and Brooke. And as you watch the series, every character will try their best to be serious, but they will also become funny. Yeah. Almost every character in One Piece is funny. I agree. Uh, also, every One Piece girl characters have big uh, bazongas and booties because the writers draw them that way. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that is a good way to put it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I, 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 like, I don't mind a bit of titillation, but I did notice that. And they get bigger as the series goes on. Like, I started watching in series, like, up to like episode 50, but and I just watch the openings sometimes, some of the best openings in anime. And they just get bigger and bigger as they get up in the hundreds, because we're up to like episode 100, 500, 600 now, and yeah, it, it's very clear. And I don't, doesn't that take away the female audience a bit? I mean, like, doesn't that kind of insult them? I mean, I don't know, maybe guys could have big, uh, yeah, 
those. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I, I would be a bit off-put by that if I was if I was a guy. But as a girl, probably off-put by that. Anyway, anyway, uh, Japan will be Japan. <laughs> Um, also, yes, uh, if you watch the anime, you might see characters you might not like. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I found a few characters, um, antagonists I didn't much care for. But most of all, I, mostly, I really enjoyed the characters. I just did not, uh, find the time and patience that some did. I didn't like it enough to watch all 500 episodes, I guess, that's the thing. I just, oh, oh, what's this from? Um, who's this from? This is from D. Oh, D. Tom, who doesn't like me to call him D. <laughs> or was it doesn't like me to call him Tom? <laughs> he makes sure to always tell me. But these are beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. We got the front me and Boo. Now we got the back. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's gorgeous. Oh, that is just beautiful. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that that goes together so well, doesn't it? That that's amazing. Goodness, D. What do you have to say, D? Oh, it's a. Oh, it looks very familiar. Dear Phantom Strider, nice picture. I hope you are having a nice day so far. You make really interesting videos without fail. I have been subscribed to your channel probably since mid 2017, but I wasn't this big a fan of your channel until January 3rd, 2019 which was five weird modern Netflix cartoons. And then you noticed me in the live chat. You know, I thought no one watched that one. Like, not many people really um, noticed much on that one. I really enjoyed weird modern Netflix cartoons, but uh, it's not remembered by many. It's funny that was the one that really um, clicked with you, uh, uh, D-Tom, um, or Tom. Um, um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, I really enjoyed it though myself. Uh, and then you noticed me in the live chat because it was a premiere. But before that, I did watch some of your videos. Ever since then, I have come to see how much I've gotten to know about you and your awesome community. Especially the fact that you have Asperger's. That's shocking. Uh, um, excuse me, sorry, I lost my place. That's shocking because I'm autistic. Your videos always help me calm down when I'm stressed out. As you probably remember, well, that's great, man. I appreciate that. I realized, uh, I think I've told you guys before, but my videos have more become designed to, because I'm autistic, they're designed to be calming to me too, because that's what I would want it when I go onto YouTube. I search, I search out with people like the real gyms and that sort of thing who calm me down and ease my anxiety. Um, and autistic are also uh, Asperger, people with Asperger's. I don't like the term autistic for some reason. Autism, people on the autism spectrum tend to be quite photosensitive as well. So you'll notice there's a lot of clear, slow fades in mine that are uh, very steady and gradual to be easy on the eyes because that's what we tend to appreciate more. Um, yeah, just fun facts about my videos. Uh, um, your videos help me calm down when I'm stressed out. As you probably remember, I'm high school and dealing with anxiety a lot. It hits me so hard to the point where I feel like I'm stuck in hell. Yeah, and you know, we have our own coping mechanisms sometimes because of those acute moments of anxiety where, like whether it be a loud noise or something really harsh that just feels like a drill on your brain. I, I totally get it, Tom. I really do, man. Um, yeah, um, but I'm trying to, my best to fix all that, and I know that I may have my family, friends, and f uh, fans to support me um, when I am totally unhappy. Thank you for reading this, and I hope you can have an E to the Z on O Diddly, O, on t o Twiddly, D Tom, tan th Tantastic Day, from Tom. Oh, thank you, Tom. You know, it. I'm not going to say it. It does get a bit calmer and easier. That anxiety does isn't always as bad as it is probably right now for you. But, you know, it's also okay to accept that there will be anxiety and problems and challenges and that's okay. And remember that you will get through them. You, they will, they're short and they're acute, but you will, you will move past them and you will have always, you will have more good times ahead of you. And I think that's worth keeping in mind when you're going through those acute moments of pain, D, so, uh, D, uh, Tom rather, so, uh, good on you, Tom, good on you, man. And thank you so much for writing in. Oh, Marianne again. This says, hello, and it has, if you've got them, flaunt them. <laughs> With the dog flapping his ears. Josh, oh, that's neat, it's got my name on it. Josh. <laughs> 
Oh, it's Sailor Moon cards. Oh, Robin would love these. Oh, I'll send these to Robin. It's got Robin on it. Oh, she'll love that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and that is from Mary Ann. So, P.S. What are your favorite Canadian cartoons? What are your favorite cartoons of the 90s and the 80s? Oh, man. I mean, the first thing that jumps to mind is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but obviously there were better cartoons than that in the 90s. Um, I can't say Canadian. I can't think of one off the top of my head that's Canadian, but I'll uh, get back to you on that. Uh, ask me again on Twitter, um, and I'll see if I can come up with a better answer if you're really curious, Marian. Sorry about that. Hi, I uh, hope you are going well. My nickname is Marianne, and I've opened your letters in the wrong order, Marianne. Sorry about that. I love your channels. I got something for you and something for your friend Robin from Anime America. I don't know her address. I hope that you can forward that. Yep, I sure will. I'll take. I'll send that with my photo I want to send her. It really means a lot to me. It is also greatly appreciated uh, as well. Thanks. Take care from Marianne. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Marianne. Oh, there's something like the feeling of the wind on your tongue. <laughs> there's nothing like the feeling of wind on your tongue. Thank you, Marianne. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll um, I'll keep that for both of us, and I uh, will send that off to Robin. And this next one is from Adam. Next up, we've got from Adam. So, what does Adam have to say? Whoa, <laughs> dear Phantom Strider. I'm really glad you got my mail in your latest mailbox video. I thought you should hear this. The entertainment industry is having a hard time. Media companies are now caving into social just... Oh. I'm a social justice warrior, dude. That's, that's, yeah. It's, it's, I'd be careful with that term, social justice warrior and leftist. People caring and being trying to be open and accepting of others and look at minorities. Sometimes equality and being good to everyone means we give a little bit more to those who need it, man. I, I really would encourage you to be very careful with that term, social justice warrior and leftist, because caring about others and trying to put effort in, that little bit of extra effort to be considerate of others is part of what makes this world more tolerable and bearable for all of us. Even if it's a little bit more inconvenience for, you know, white, tall men like me who are so lucky, you know? It, it's, it's worth that effort though, you know? So anyway, I'm not gonna go on that. I'm just gonna go, uh, uh, skip around and go to the non-political stuff. because uh, Is the entertainment industry getting too political? Yeah, well, I can agree with that in that um, I think what you may be referring to, which I can agree with anyway, is that there is a lot of instant social media feedback um, from the entertainment industry now because suddenly we don't write in, you know, a hundred letters in order to hear our feedback. We, uh, you know, can, in, millions of us can get on social media and Twitter and Facebook and say, this is bad, this is terrible. So, yes, there is more social media feedback. Um, and I don't know if that's necessarily a good or a bad thing. I think it has some consequences, but uh, it's interesting to think about, that's for sure. Um, but thank you very much for writing in, Adam. I really appreciate you giving your thoughts. Um, P.S. Are those companies still worth praising even if they've gotten woke? Uh, woke? I don't know. Yeah, um, any, anyway, thank you very much, Adam. I appreciate you writing in with that. Uh, and taking the time. It's very much appreciated. Oh, it's the Rand symbol. They want me back. Uh, oh, no, wait, it's from Illinois. Oh, seeing that symbol, though. <laughs> um, to Josh Strider, my name is Rolling, uh, pronounced Rolling. I'm a fan of you and your channel. I've been subscribed since 2017. Sorry, I'm not good at starting conversational letters. That's fine, man. Anyway, I want to know if you have a Skype or video uh, chat with your fans in any way because I wanted to chat with you um, and talk with you about um, some personal stuff. Back in 2019, I enlisted in the Navy. Yeah, that's why I recognize the symbol and made me jump. And I got sent to the boot camp in July 2019. Uh, yeah, I remember the HMAS Cerberus for me, man. That was 2012 though for me. Uh, good on you though, man. This takes guts, it really takes guts. 
I was nervous and excited at the same time. <laughs> as you can, as I got there, everything changed. I ended up extremely anxious. Oh yeah, me too, man. Oh, it sucked. And eventually started having breakdowns. Me too, man. Oh, it sucked. It sucked. I kept trying to focus on graduating. Oh my God, it's just like my story. Oh my God. Uh, da, 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 da. I really, oh my God, this is exactly what happened to me. Um, I kept trying to focus on graduating on all the benefits, but I was, it wasn't working. I understood boot camp wasn't like the very, uh, but every time I don't, I kept focusing on it. I started feeling more anxious. Oh man, I got so bad that I couldn't actually, I got the worst um, score. Um, on, uh, I think, uh, anyone in my, in my platoon of like 78 people and I wasn't stupid, you know, <laughs> I'm not stupid. Uh, uh, so yeah, I did, I did really badly. <laughs> Things with my, physically, I, you can probably guess I flew through the tests in t uh, terms of physical training. Um, yeah, I did fine in my sports training, that sort of thing. And in uh, boot camp, yeah, this is very similar what happened to me. Um, I, I gotta keep reading this. I, uh, focusing on it, I started uh, feeling more anxious. Um, sorry if it's taking me a while. I guess it just reminds me so much of it's to bring back memories. I realized that it wasn't for me. On August 13, I got medically separated. I made it back home at August 28. Things with my friends and family are fine, and I plan on going to college. Good, good. I still feel, f yes, man, I feel sad once in a while. I, I get that, man. I really do. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm just disappointed for not making it through this or whatever the reason. I think I'm better off at home though. Yes, yes, you are, man, you are. Um, I'd, I'd rather be here, yeah. I'm, and dude, it's about being happy. There is, you don't need to prove anything to anyone. You, don't, you proved by going in there that you could do it. You could be in there. And you might've even been able to stay in there for the whole training, man. But you chose to keep your, to be calm and be good to yourself. You proved that you could go in, you passed the actual test to get in. I imagine you passed the physical training too, man. Good on you. Um, so I know it's hard. I've gone through the same thing myself. Um, uh, deciding to, when I decided to leave, um, whenever that was, but, uh, it's, you're better off. You're better off. You could do more good at home with your friends and your family being a good person to them than you necessarily would in the Navy. Both are important, you know? So, and it's not for everyone. It's for a special kind of person that isn't us, that isn't us, you know? Um, if you're watching my channel, you've probably got some level of the spectrum and everything you've, I've just been reading here says you probably are. So it's okay, man. It's okay. Um, yeah, uh, I, t I totally understand this. Um, I'm wanting to, uh, writing to you because I remember reading on IMDb that you were in the Navy. Yep. And you've, uh, you've helped raise money for mental health. I'm hoping you can talk to me. If you get this letter and want to talk, you can write back to this address written in my envelope or you can contact me on twitter rolling.ka i'm one of your followers if you decide not to write back or not contact me though only i won't take it seriously from rolling p.s if you decide to contact me through twitter ignore the politics they're not what define me oh that's fine man rolling um if I was one that, for a while i was quite political i there's a very strong side politically in the Navy, and I know that's probably not what caused it, but uh, that did for me for a while. If you need, uh, I would recommend, man, uh, best way to contact me, actually add me on Facebook, uh, Josh Strider, and I will accept you rolling. Um, uh, I, expect, I accept most people, you know, as long as it's not like a super spam bot or something, it looks like a real person, like a person I like, I accept. So um, feel free to uh, add me on there and directly message me through that. Uh, I don't check my Facebook often enough, but yeah, this, um, I can definitely talk to you about this because I did the same thing and very much relate to that experience. Anyway, that is all the letters and uh, thank you so much for everyone writing in. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, it's always a pleasure to do these and I'm sorry it took me so long to uh, do the latest one. Um, but thank you so much for being a support. This is why I do what I do and why I love what I do, you know. Appreciate it, guys. I'll talk to you later.